Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to create an AEM project without front-end module. I have got one question related to how to create a AEM project with uh, without front-end module. I am assuming that's the motive of asking this question. When uh, I think Kumar Padala has been asked uh, about this question here he is asking how to create a non spa model and in my previous video i think this is uh, this is the video that i have created for uh, create am project and front end module so as part of this video i have showed how to create a project with front end module structure i have already created this uh, which i am continuously using for other videos as well and here if you see there is a ui dot front end module has been created and this actually follows the spa there are three types of architecture i have already um, spoke about it in my previous video and here uh, again i am repeating that there is three types of structure one is the classical structure so i am mentioning as classical but it is not adobe recommended term it's just the non front end module approach we are telling where there will be ui there won't be any ui dot front end module okay all the css javascript will be part of ui dot apps then there is a second approach where with a general so ui front end module value you have to give as a general so when you provide this value ui front end module will be appearing and it will be with a standard approach it won't be a spa in nature okay it won't be spa based app complete uh, spa based application it will be still server side rendering but ui dot front end module will appear where your css javascript will go to ui dot front end module then there is a third approach where you have to create your project with spa based approach where you have to give the front end module value as either angular or react or any of the uh, module name that any of the framework you wanted to create i have already given some of the details about the resources that you can find i'll re reiterate so this is uh, the same um, command prompt i have used for uh, creating the previous project i'm using the same command prompt however i am going to provide one more value here that is the hyphen d front end module and where i will get that so to get that value always uh, i will uh, recommend to go to am project archetype you have the url here also i will just open in a new tab so this will land me here and if i come here right there are a lot of details they have provided these are the attribute or properties we can provide so one of the property called front end module if i do not provide then the default value will be general if you see here the default value is general which we have actually created in our previous project okay now in this video i am going to create the project with the value as none okay so here i will add one more value i find d front end module i'll just copy the term to avoid any confusion equal to none okay none and control a control c i'll go to here i'm not run, uh, running this command c this is the command let me press enter let's see how does it creates build failure that's because of most likely i have opened in standard mode i have to open the command prompt in admin mode okay now i have to go to the location i have to delete it the existing repository Oh, sorry. Okay. 
okay i am in the location now let me run the command build is success okay now the project has been created and that should appear here okay i have actually opened my specific project folder now i will open the same similar way here also okay let me open a new window so that i can show as a comparison okay so if you see here there is no ui dot front end module okay that's because we have provided as none this is this was the standard architecture till am introduced the ui dot front end module and once it uh, once ui dot front end module has been introduced general option was this uh, considered as the standard approach even today adobe recommends to use the general approach where it will uh, all your css javascript will be go inside the ui dot front end module and that is exactly i have already discussed about when to go for general when to go for none when to go for spa it depends on your team structure requirement project requirement based on that you can go for uh, i'll just uh, reiterate in an overview when you have a very uh, optimized way you wanted to implement your project very much optimized in way in the sense if you do not use any css javascript in your page and whatever the unused css javascript it is there it should not be part of your current page then you should go for this approach this classical approach or the non front end module approach however if you do not have that requirement but everything else you wanted to have as a application like experience for user experience and you would not have uh, restriction on using how much css or javascript you wanted to use and you always rely on one set of library for your project mostly the same css javascript is being used throughout the project then you can go for general approach or the spa based approach as well spa is completely related to framework structure so i won't compare or i cannot compare as an alternative because if you want to go with react or angular you have to go for spa there is no option of none or uh, none or general option but if you do not go with any kind of spa framework you can go for either none or general but remember in case of general all your css javascript will be part of ui dot front end module but in case of none the css javascript will be part of the each client lib so here i will just show one example so wk and uh, i have given a different name with two as the variable at the end which is the suffix so that we can differentiate between uh, two of the, both of the structure let me close it so if i see the structure right so here there is no ui dot front end module but here the ui dot front end module is there and ui dot front end module is completely rely on webpack and uh, npm okay npm or even you can use yarn but uh, as of now the default is and npm and if you see ui dot apps also has the client lib however this client lib if you say it is completely grayed out because these are controlled by ui dot front end module in the real time ui front end model code is go and sit on under the client lib side and similarly that happens for dependencies as well you can add some other client lib uh, the way we have we can do here the similar way you can do other client lib but you do not have control over the client lib hyphen side you can control it with customizing the ui dot front end model but it is not recommended but if you want if there is if there is a requirement from the project side then you can do it in case of uh, classical approach we do not have any ui dot front end module everything will be part of uh, client lib and in the global client lib you can use properties like uh, category so this category will be the category id of each uh, client lib 
other than there are other property called uh, embed and dependencies here they have already they have not given but uh, ah, so yeah this is one of the examples so in the embed property you can use uh, to create multiple client lib so this classical approach can be used i have seen a project where they create one page with one kind of animated javascript so in those cases you can create multiple cliently for multiple pages and those will be super optimized for those particular pages because the animation libraries are quite heavier comparing to other other javascript that we are uh, generally generally we use it so in those cases i would recommend to use this approach uh, where you can have the granular control on over the client lib and CSS JavaScript. But if you do not have any kind of animated heavy uh, UI, uh, heavy UI in the sense, page specific uh, library, if there is no requirement, such kind of requirement, then it is recommended for the, go for general. So the example, what I am showing, let's assume there is a project one project two project one always create a page with uh, too much ui and every page has a different javascript different css in that case the classic approach is recommended but project two where it is just a general approach where the code level whatever the css javascript is being used it is normally used or carried forward to all other pages as well and those uh, the CSS JavaScript, whatever is being used, those are reused in other pages also. So which is the recommended approach? And uh, it, it, there you should go for the general approach where the UI dot front end model should appear. And uh, so this is my uh, recommendation, my personal recommendation based on my experience. But if you have any different thoughts, please put your uh, feedback on the comment section. I'll also uh, try to evaluate and I'll discuss that on them in my future videos with this we come to the end of these videos and end of this video and let do let me know if there is anything else you want to explore as part of this thank you